Hello, um, my name's Sean Fallows, uh, a poet from Wigan um, with cerebral palsy and I'd love to do this course because I'm passionate about communication, uh, whether that be down the pub or at a poetry event. Um, I just love talking um, and I love listening to people and um, any new things that they've got to try and say and tell me. Um, and one thing I've found um, with being born with my disability is I think we tend to fall into um, one of two categories. You're either ignored completely uh, and not seen uh, in wider society or else you're seen as this angelic person who can never do anything wrong. And that is also um, really wrong because We've got to get to a point where we're just normal people, average people, um, looking for opportunities and taking opportunities. And um, when I say opportunities, um, I don't mean favouritism. I just mean the same opportunities that you have. Um, and it's no kind of complicated than that, really. Um, <clears throat> but as I say... Um, I love talking now, um, but it wasn't always that way for me. Uh, I was a very uh, shy person growing up, uh, probably a little bit lazy as well, to be honest, but I never talked to anyone uh, much, and I just kind of took things in. Um, and then one day, um, I moved away from Wigan when I left school, and I went studying at a college to be a fitness instructor, and... I think everybody's life has some kind of catalyst for a change and that makes you think a little bit differently and my catalyst for change was a guy called Derek and I shared a room with Derek um, when I was at college and he was a guy who had loads of oxygen tanks and equipment on his chair and stuff and he couldn't do very many things, ugly anything, uh, if I'm honest. Um, but when I saw um, the way that the staff kind of were really blasé with Derek and they just didn't give him any kind of respect, really. They just came in his room, put him to bed and so many things where they just didn't talk to him and try and communicate with him. Uh, it, it terrified me, to be honest, because... Uh, I realised that if I didn't try and do things, then pretty soon people would just assume that that was the life that I wanted and they would just take that away from me and um, do the same things. And I didn't want that. So um, I realised that I couldn't really help Derek at all and I couldn't really do many things apart from try and make him laugh. So uh, I wrote this poem and it's called what they said to Derek. I shared a room with Derek when I was just 16. And unless you've ever known Derek, it's hard to understand what I mean. See, Derek only knew a, a few words. They were, hello, you bugger, and mucky turds. They told me Derek would be 31 soon. But all I heard was when Derek chuckled a childlike tune Chuckle that childlike tune every day. Call me mucky turds, cause Sean was so hard to say. And what will we do with you, Derek? Was what they always said. And what they always did with Derek was put Derek to bed. Then every evening, when I went out for my tea about six, Derek got his customary mushy Weetabix. And what will we do with you, Derek? Was what they always said. And what they always did with Derek was put Derek to bed. See, if you don't talk, if you can't talk, you become just another piece of dirt in an already blocked drain, wondering if you're still sane. So that was my shock, sharp surprise, if I ever saw Derek with open eyes. See, I shared a room with Derek, and what they said to Derek, they'd never say, no, never do, to me. From then, I struggled hard, away from the noose, to be free. Yeah, so um, that's my point really, that 
you know, you look at the way things were for Derek, and I know now um, when I'm trying to do things, um, I'm not, um, I'm not. I'd class mys I wouldn't class myself as a an unfortunate person, you know. Um, just to have so many um, mates around me, and just to have a chance to do so many things, and just have a simple chat is amazing to me um, and I think that's why now I'm so kind of full on with everything I do because uh, it could have been um, really different so um, thanks for listening and I, I hope um, I can get this application and uh, I look forward to uh, meeting meeting you, thank you